Hello, my name is Jacob Cobble. I'm an EM intern here at UPMC Hammett. Um, I'm from Bradford, Pennsylvania. It's about an hour and a half from here, a uh, town of about 8,000 people. I went to WVSOM down in West Virginia for uh, med school. I chose UPMC Hammett because of the variety of people we get to see. Um, we're a level two trauma center, so we get to see the trauma from the surrounding area. Uh, we're also a really busy ED. Uh, we're actually the busiest in the UPMC system. Uh, we see roughly 80 to 90,000 visits a year, which is a lot. Um, another reason, personally, I don't know whether I want to practice in a rural ED setting or uh, an urban setting. And I think this program um, allows you to choose between the two and feel prepared to do either. Um, another thing I like about this program, I think it has some of the best didactics I've seen from the auditions I've been on. Uh, working with the faculty, whether it be in the emergency department, hands-on, or whether it be in lecture, you can tell they really take the time to teach you and care about your education. My name is Emily Rosell. I'm one of the third years here at uh, UPMC Hammett. I'm originally from Orlando, Florida, so it takes a lot for me to come all the way up to Erie and to choose to stay here. I think that says a lot about our program. I chose UPMC Hammett. Uh, a lot of people says it's kind of it's a gem hidden up here in Erie, and I would completely agree. We see a ton of pathology, which I think everybody probably says, but we truly do. We have a lot of unique subsets of populations, and we get a chance to get our hands really dirty and kind of do a lot of procedures here. The reason I chose Erie, despite all of its snow that we're known for, is that Erie is a wonderful town. Um, it's small, but not too small. I feel like you can probably go somewhere and see someone you know, but it's not really going to be the same person every time. I really like that it takes only about 15 minutes to get anywhere. It's kind of spoiled me, honestly. Erie in itself has a lot of things to do, whether you are an outdoor person, an indoor person, a summer person, a winter person, has something for everybody. Hi, my name is Jeff Chang. I'm a PGY2 here at Hammett. Uh, I chose Hammett because I like the sense of community medicine and urgency that we have here in the emergency department. We get good volume and we get good acuity. Uh, I'm originally from the Erie area, um, so I'm close to home know some of the patients who sometimes come through the doors, and uh, if not, you can learn them while you're here. Hello everyone, I'm Kelvin. I am a PGY2 here at the UPMC EM program. Uh, I'm originally from Florida. I did my undergraduate there. I also did a transitional year at uh, UPMC in Altoona. And I and this is now my second year here. The reason I chose UPMC, uh, this site to do my residency was for the acuity, our high level of traumas, and our unopposed residency that we have here. Uh, some of our day-to-day -day activities that I love to do around Erie is, I love the beach scene, I love Presque Isle. We have a large number of gym memberships in the area, and during our summer months, uh, when I get to spend most of my time outdoors with biking, hiking, and playing sports like basketball, and um, other things like tennis and such, uh, one of the reasons, uh, main reason I chose to live here was also the camaraderie of the residents before me. This program has done an excellent job of setting up a culture of helping each other, and it's why I choose to come to work every day, and I'm happy to be here. My name is Dan Desiderio. I'm a third year resident at UPMC Hammett here. Uh, I went to medical school at Marshall University in West Virginia. Grew up in eastern Pennsylvania near Philadelphia. I ended up rotating up here as a student and got to know the people up here, and that's really what drew me to the program. Get to see a lot of good, uh, good diversity pathology here in the department, and uh, that's what kind of got me up here. Summer this year has been pretty great. Been out on the boat quite a few times and diving in the lake. It's been pretty good. Um, things I like about the program, uh, I like that we're really one of the few residencies here in the hospital and we get to do pretty much everything we want to do. Um, a lot of good trauma training and a lot of good hands-on experience. Attendings are all easy to get along with. The other residents are good to work with. Hi, I'm Chris Camerata. I am the Assistant Medical Director for the Emergency Department and Director of EMS. I've been at Hammett for 12 years. During that time, um, we've expanded the EMS as far as UPMC Hammett goes, to now include over 40 services. And we are the medical director for the largest service uh, in the area and actually the largest non-for-profit service in Pennsylvania, which is Emergicare. It covers 5,600 square miles. 
As far as the residency program, I think the uh, most uh, unique part of this residency is the ability to work at both a stroke and trauma center yet not have uh, surgical residents that compete for your uh, procedures and uh, to care for your sick patients. Uh, really the emergency medicine residents uh, sort of uh, run the ICUs and, and run the ED uh, because there's no internal medicine and there is no surgical residents. As far as Erie, um, I think a number one great place to raise a family. Uh, you'll truly get your four seasons here. Uh, the weather in the summer is beautiful and if you like snow, it's a good place to come in the winter. It's a pretty safe community and I can't say enough good things about it. This is where my family um, grew up and we're here to stay. Hello, my name is Justin Puller and I'm the program director of the Emergency Medicine Residency Program here at UPMC Hammett. We've got a fantastic training facility and program and there's a few things that I think make us unique. The first is the ratio of residents compared to the number of patients we see. At our facility, the balance of patients that are not seen by the residents are seen by attending physicians and physician assistants. These are not competitive learners for you and that allows you, the resident, to have the best possible learning opportunities. As a smaller training program with six residents per class, it also allows us to get to know our residents much better. This helps us to provide you with conditional independence and progressive autonomy as you progress to our becoming an independent attending physician. Any athletic coach will teach you to practice like you play. And I think that's important in residency training. Our pediatric population is mixed in with our adults as you see patients every day in the emergency department. Our trauma patients are also mixed in with our medical patients, and it's a normal part of your day to see both in the same shift. At many facilities, you may be part of the trauma team rounding on patients and responding to trauma alerts, but you may be the second or third learner back in line behind the surgeons. Here, from the beginning of your PGY2 year through the completion of your training, you will be the primary provider and resuscitator for all of the trauma patients that come into our facility. There's a lot going on at UPMC Hammett, including construction of a new critical care tower that is a seven story, $111 million facility scheduled to open in 2021. We have great faculty that are some of the best clinical physicians that you'll ever meet. Our residents have gone on to community practice around the country and around the world. Some have gone on to academic positions as core faculty or program directors. And we've had quite a few who have gone to take leadership positions as department directors. I wish you the best in your residency search and look forward to meeting you.